I see big changes coming to Rideshare in the near future. I made this video a couple weeks ago. I just wanted to explain why I think Lyft is a way better company than Uber. But really, Trip is about to start doing service in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, so we'll see what happens there. Let's get into what I think about Trip. I mean, Lyft. There is one aspect, Uber is a better service than Lyft. When there's surge going on, it's crazy busy, you're in the middle of Hollywood or Santa Monica, trying to get a car, especially an XL ride, you're gonna get it faster if you use Uber. Here are my reasons why I think Lyft is the premium service over Uber. There is no such thing as Lyft Shared Express. The driver and passenger support is generally easy to understand and capable of helping us. Unlike Uber, we send them emails and the response makes it seem like they didn't even read the email. And then we send another email and we still haven't gotten any closer. Support is a nightmare with Uber. Lyft recently made subcompact cars, several of them, ineligible to be used on Lyft. Let me ask you, what's worse than having to get into a Prius C or a tiny car like that? This is a debatable issue, but I do believe that when I'm working with Lyft and I stay busy, that I get paid more. New drivers on Lyft get a way better bonus or guarantee than on Uber. Uber allows older cars than Lyft does. In fact, I was just talking to Dustin as driving who also has a YouTube channel. And he was telling me that in Florida, if you're uh, registering for Lyft for the first time, your car has to be a 2017 or newer. And this has been going on in Houston for a while now. But fortunately, if you're already on the platform, they're not making you get a newer car to meet the new standards. Now this is a big one for Lyft. They make it very easy to see before the passenger gets in the car, where you're going to be taking them. If it's a really bad trip for you, you can just bail. And it also helps because you already have some idea of where the passenger is going before they get into the car, instead of having to swipe and figure it all out after they even have their seatbelt on. Now this is very rare on Uber, but with Lyft, shared rides will actually tip a lot. I don't know if this is the case currently, but for a long time, the Lyft Hub in downtown LA is open seven days a week. You could go in on Sunday, there's like hardly anybody there. It really feels like you're in somebody's home when you go to the Lyft Hub. It's very comfortable. I don't know if Uber is still doing this, but I'll tell you what Lyft doesn't do is take money from destination trips. And you're allowed six destination trips, unlike only two on Uber. Now, when Lyft first started, they had tipping, Uber didn't. Lyft really made an effort to distinguish themselves as the more driver friendly and just an overall better experience for passengers. With the pink mustaches, whatever other reasons, people felt like Uber was the more premium service. And it frustrates me that that still carries over to today. Because the truth is, Lyft has better options, they take better care of their drivers and better care of their passengers. So in my opinion, Lyft is the premium service and I really would like for them to get it together and beat Uber in every aspect possible because I believe that Lyft deserves this. I would like to see them come out as they intended to in the beginning to be the better company, the company that takes care of people and this new company trip, which is supposed to be getting going real soon, community is a big, focus and one of their primary reasons for forming this company is to create a company that's going to actually give back to the community unlike lyft and uber which just keeps pulling money out and making a handful of executives extremely wealthy trip wants to make the communities that it operates in better so yeah sign up for trip Links in the description. I just don't think that the way things have been going can keep going for much longer. Things are gonna come to a head. I don't know if you heard the news. Another executive at Uber is leaving. Ariana Huffington left the board of directors. They also laid off 400 people today. I don't see anything stopping another company. Like, did you hear Sony has some sort of rideshare type app in Japan? There's so many other companies 
that could just step in and there will be no more Uber, just like that. I'm gonna be on the news tomorrow for Spectrum. It's a local news channel. It's our, our cable, local cable news channel. I'm gonna to talk to them about AB5. The reason why, as drivers, we're supporting AB5, Assembly Bill 5 in the California legislature. Like, we like being independent. We have nothing else we can do. It's either make us employees, get some protections, or they're just gonna keep screwing us. And that's why, let's just all hope for the best. Slave on. Love you guys.